Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look. This is what I have been using more on the days that I do put my makeup on. It's using very minimal makeup to me. I would say this is like my everyday summer makeup routine. It is a little bit more like on the drugstore side. I believe I only use like a couple high-end products. So I really like this. You could definitely, like I don't know, like what is it called? You could definitely substitute some of the high-end products for drugstore products and you could get this exact look so before we get into the video I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about what's gonna be happening on my channel so as you guys know my husband and I have been doing vlog videos and we really 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 enjoy doing them for you guys also because of the reason why we started doing them I had told you guys that with us being pregnant and all we wanted to sort of film weekly to kind of look back on it and see how much we've grown or how much I've grown and how much we grow together as a couple in just becoming parents over time because we had been wanting this for such a long time. I'm gonna cry and finally we were you know like finally we're able to we're carrying a little human. <laughs> Well, I'm carrying. So, that's one thing. Now, number two, we have been telling you guys that we're going to do, like, cooking videos. Those are coming very, very soon. But today on my Snapchat, um, I have been, like, showing you guys what I've been eating throughout the day and the little desserts that I've been making. So, we are going to be doing both cooking videos plus maybe, like, dessert videos. I don't know, because I love to bake. I mean, if there's anything that you guys want me to bake, go ahead and let me know and I will do that because... I love it and if I don't know how I will find the recipe and I will make it just for you guys and I think that's about everything I have to say right now I'm eating banana bread mm -hmm. so freaking good so I think that's about all I have to say for this intro I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup to blah what this makeup tutorial and if you do happen to recreate it or just simply like this video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys want to see in the future if there's a specific makeup look that you guys want me to do just send it to me don't forget to like and subscribe go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter pinterest snapchat wherever just so that we can keep on talking when we're not here on youtube so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys so to start off, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to spray that all over my face and then go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm going to put this everywhere where my pores have just become gigantic, which is on my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. Basically all over my face. For my foundation, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. This, I like it, but it doesn't have that much coverage, or at least not as much as I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and dab all that out with a beauty blender. And I'm just going to pounce that all over my face. It's going to take me like five hours to do this, but <laughs> it gets the job done. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm going to use this... All over my face, I'm going to make myself look like a catfish just to add extra coverage. I'm going to go back in with the same beauty blender and I'm going to blend all of that out to make my face look like, you know, it's all blended out. Although I do want to keep some of those parts of my face highlighted, so you know, you just go with the flow. To set the concealer, I'm going to go in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder with the same little beauty blender. This is kind of wet, or it's not wet, it's like moistened or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm going to set the powder with all of that. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Face Powder. This is my favorite. I tell you guys time and again, in each video, this powder is my favorite. To contour my face, or to bronze up my face, I'm going to use this contouring palette from Wet n Wild in the shade Dulce de Leche and I'm going to grab the bronzing shade obviously. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks, my temples and the sides of my nose or like the bridge of my nose. You know just to add some warmth back into my face because I felt like having all of those concealers and foundation and all that it kind of made my face look a little bit washed out. 
For my blush, I'm going to use the Tea Rose Blush by Milani. I'm going to apply that above the apples of my cheeks. Not directly onto the apples because I don't want to make myself look like I got bigger cheeks. For my highlight, I'm going in with Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. This has been my ride or die. My, this, I, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I love this. I cannot put this down. If you guys do not have this, I highly recommend you go pick it up. It's amazing. Now I'm going to jump into my brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade for this part. I just outline my lower part of the eyebrow and then the top parts. I fill it in and then I'm going to go in with the powder. I have mine in the shade Chocolate and with the lighter shade, I fill in the front of my eyebrow. With the darker shade, I fill in the arch of my eyebrow and then I just kind of outline the lower part of it. Now for my eyes I'm going to go in with the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to grab the foxy shade. I'm going to apply that all over my lid just to set any BB cream or concealer or whatever I must have on my eyelid. I'm going to make sure that I set that just so that it doesn't crease throughout the day. And going in with Naked Chew, I would say this is, uh, you can add this shadow if you want to, you don't have to. On my skin tone, it doesn't really pick up as much, but I, I don't know. I always use this shade as like my transition shade, but the next color that we're going to go in with is the one that like pulls the look together, I feel. So this one, you can use it or not. It's up to you guys. Now going in with faint, I'm going to use a very big fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply that into my crease. It could be messily, it doesn't have to be perfect, it can get on your lid, it doesn't really matter. I like this look because it looks like I put in a lot of work into it when honestly it takes me about 2 minutes to do this whole eyeshadow. For my mascara, I'm going to use the Revlon Lash Potion and I'm going to apply that all over my lashes. With the Physician's Formula Black Eyeliner, I'm going to tight line just to make my eyes look, my eyelashes look fuller at the root or like at the base of my eyelash. And for my falsies, I'm using the Salon Perfect 614s. These lashes on my eyes, I've told you guys before, it doesn't really look like it does on other people. On other people, they look magical and beautiful and so long and wispy. On my eyes, you can barely tell that I have any on. So I would use this lash as a natural one, even though you can see it when I look down. But that's okay. I like it anyways. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize, uh, what is this, eyeliner in the shade Nude. And then I'm going to just put some of that black eyeliner outside of my waterline and just smudge it out with my finger. For my lips, I'm going to use Trap by Colourpop and that was the entire look, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed.